when the country was finally really put together and the deal is made to keep slavery in portions of the U.S., to keep the union together, it seems as though within the church community that gave sanction to begin doing the same thing in the church. Richard Allen, our founder, was a member of St. George's Church in Philadelphia. And this was a place where, you know, when he first arrived, he could worship and sit wherever he wanted. And new laws began to creep into the worship. And blacks were then made to sit on the outside aisles. Blacks were then later moved to the back of the church. And then finally, a new balcony was built. And little did Richard Allen and others know who were helping with the fundraising effort to build the balcony, that once it was completed, that the balcony was intended for them to sit in. And so one Sunday morning, they show up, the new balcony is open, they go to their old seats, and the uh, trustees of the church redirect them to the balcony. And right in the middle of worship as they're praying, uh, one of the trustees of St. George's comes over and begins yanking on the arm of Absalom Jones, uh, Richard Allen's kind of partner in ministry. And Allen opens his eyes and he looks. And I mean, this guy is literally like trying to yank Absalom Jones up off of his knees in the middle of prayer. And so Jones tells him, if you let me finish my prayer, you know, I'll leave and you'll never be bothered by me again, essentially. And certainly after the prayer is over, Alan and Jones kind of look at each other and they both stand up and a whole group of people just get up with them and they walk out never to return. And that is how Mother Bethel really began. 